Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. It is Angela the Traveling Crafter and guess what? It's back. Hashtag Sewing Notion Sunday. I have not done one of these since before we did the 100 day challenge around the house and I'm pretty excited. Uh, it is an open collaboration. Anyone can participate. Uh, if you make something with Sewing Notions or to be Sewing Notions, you're working on a sewing journal, just use the hashtag Sewing Notion Sunday, even if it's not Sunday, it doesn't really matter, uh, so that I can check out what you have been up to and everyone else can see the fun things that you guys have been working on. I need to remember to tag Marnell at Mimi's Keepsake, who will also be the Love a Little ch channel today, uh, because Marnell participated in the collaboration and we had a lot of fun and she did some really cool things. So if you're new here, get ready for the ride because these are pretty fun. If you like, you know, sewing and fashion and vintage and retro, then you'll really like this particular project. If not, I've got a whole lot of other ones that you can try out. And if you're returning, thank you for being here. Uh, especially thank you for the comments. I love reading them. Uh, I love hearing your ideas, your thoughts, your just your comments, what you've been up to. It means a lot. And I know I say that often, but I truly mean it. Truly. So what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to create some tags. I have done these before, but we are going to mass make like no other. We're bringing sexy back. Well, okay. That might be a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> probably not. We're probably not. Looking at my crafter and we're definitely not bringing sexy back. But you know what I mean. It's a fashion time of day. Now, I have this bag in front of me. Now, mine might have a few other things in it, but this is part of what is on the Maker's Market for the November kit. And we're going to be using some of the things out of this kit. I just love that sound. Um, all of these fabrics are in the kit. We're going to use, uh, we probably won't use stickers, but we're going to continue to use them. Those I don't think are in the kit. So yeah, I said there's some extras. We got stamps, which I've already used mine. Um, what else are we going to use? I mean, look, we could use safety pins. Those are in there. We're definitely using straight pins, which are also in there. We got lots of things in here. I'll keep the rest for surprises because, you know, I want you guys to get to touch and feel every single thing. I need to put this somewhere else. I'll put it right down there. Uh, that you got, so or that you get in your little bundle. And there's 12 by 12 paper. There's everything. I tried to think of everything. This is what we're going to make. Now, I did a lot of the pre-work because I want us to be able to quickly mass make. Did it take me a while to cut all of these little things? Yes, indeedy, it did. Uh, did it take very long to cut the strips of fabric? No, because I just ripped them off. But this is what we're going to make. Uh, I call them a little sampler. It could be for your, um, you know, your needle. It's, the name is escaping me to hold your needles or your pins or whatever other sharp objects you have. So that's what we're going to be making. Now I did, I got uh, this little bundle for, in Happy Mail from Sarah at New England Junk Journals. Go check her out too. And so I used some of those fabrics. So I have those over here. And then she sent me, uh, it was, I think you, you can make a stocking and then some other little things. And I'll probably never make a stocking. So I did make some ruffles out of the one piece of the stocking. I'll show you. And then these are the instructions. And I thought, on fabric, yeah, those would be cute. But then I have all of these already cut. So we're going to see. I don't know how many I've got there. But we're going to see how many we can get through. So uh, I also have the pins that we will use there. So we don't need those right now. I have my scissors should we need them. And I have my stamp set. So we're going to start. Oh, the one thing we're not going to do, because I had this, we're not going to stamp on fabric today because I already have these all already done. But this will be part of the top. And it's just a piece of muslin. And I've done some sewing related things on it. So we'll use that in a little bit. But we are going to stamp on the rest of these tags. So I did some of them. So these are all Tim Holtz 
I did some on the front. I Well, I did most of them on the back, but I did a couple on the front just to see what it would look like. I didn't really like it very much. It looked, it was too much. So those are done and ready to decorate. Let's see. I thought there was one that had, okay. So we're going to use, I think we're going to use some of the things that are in I don't, I think you guys have a, a different, you guys have a different stamp set than I do. It's cooler, I think. Oh, maybe I have it. I'm not sure. I think it might be this one that you guys got. So we'll use this lady for sure. But let's use a little bit of this. We're just going to stamp on the back just to give it a little extra. Well, on this one, let's see. I think this one. This one I used the back and did it that way. But I was thinking if we did it the other way, then you could write on it. But we'll just roll with it. It doesn't really matter. I am using stays on, um, which you don't have to. Now on this, we might be able to do one on the front, one on the back. Now, the one thing I did not do. Oh, yeah. that Now that looks good. Well, you know what? We're going to do all of them with this on there. And then we'll do something else on the back. I like that a lot. One thing is that is helpful, if you were new to stamping at all, is to have something. I have a um, cork, just a cork 12 by 12 thing. I think they're supposed to be so you could put them on a wall. And do I want to do all of them that way? That's three. No, we'll just do three. We'll do something else with the other ones. And how about a sewing machine? That would be fun. These Timo stamps, I'm telling you, they I love them. They work so great. Uh, where are you at? Sewing machine. Ooh, this one hasn't been used before, so this should be interesting to see how it does. Do I dare? I think I need to tested on something just because I don't want to ruin anything but putting a piece of that cork under there really really Angela really does help it kind of gives it a little cushion if you will and helps it stamp a little bit better so just a little tip if you didn't know Cute. Maybe we should just leave the blank. I don't know. Well, I have some with the back stamp. So let's leave these just stamped on the front. And leave some of them blank. And these I did not coffee dye or do anything with. I just left them as they are. That one doesn't look quite as good, but it's okay. All right, so you process. You're going to... Get your tags. You're going to ink them all, which I did all of that in advance to spare you the gory boringness of doing that. And then you're going to stamp all your tags however you see fit. The next thing that you are going to do is to tear all of your fabrics. Now, I do have also my hot glue gun out here because I was thinking about maybe putting some... Uh, fabric instead of like little trimmy things. Ooh. All right, that's done. I think we're done with our stamps. Brilliant. All right, so let's get all that out of the way. Let's tear a couple of pieces of this. So these I tore, um, I don't think I really measured, but they're about, the, my tags are about three and a half inches, three, three and a quarter. So these are about just a little bit under three and a quarter. So we've got all the, these aren't really viable for this project, but we'll keep them for another one. And all of these should work, but let's just try another one of these from all of the yumminess. Ooh, I like this orange. Um, of course I like the orange, it's my favorite. These are all in the kit as well. I think there's eight or so sheet, um, squares. How big are these? 
8 by 8 10 by 10 Now you do Boom All right So I'm just going to cut that Right where it's kind of folded I like that one We'll keep the rest for other projects I picked these because I thought they looked From a vintage retro fashion thing I thought they looked kind of retro-y All right now, what we're going to do, which I did not do in advance, is we're going to put these pieces down. I did none of them in advance. I'm really excited about this. Read all the instructions. Read all the instructions carefully before beginning the, the project. Yeah, I should have read that when I... You know, I could do it under... I could do this in the back, leave it blank, and then it's like a secret writing board. Okay, do I normally use hot glue for these kind of projects? Answer is no. All right, we're just going to do these like that. But it seems kind of fun. Since I got it out, I may as well use it. For now, I'm going to leave the string that's on the tag and I'll change those all out. I didn't plan for that, so. Okay, so we got those two. Let's see, we'll do one of these. We'll do one of these. Maybe four. Let's do a couple like that. Ooh, this is neat fabric. Five. These are skinnier, but that's okay. Skinnier and longer. Oh, maybe not all of them are longer. Let's do this one like this. Ooh, look at that. This is Timu fabric. It's very thin. It was on a jelly roll. It's like a jelly roll. Um, I think I'm going to put this one here so you can see her dress through that. Do that one there. Ooh, I like this one too. I'll go perfect there. And we have two left, so we need to, well, let's just do a different. Let's do two more in the end, should we? Why not? This is kind of a cool color. And that right in half. Put that one aside. One more we need. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, that blue is pretty. Ooh, let's do kind of a greeny one. We don't have, I don't think we have one like that. Okay, now the reason I wanted to do this is because sometimes I don't get all my decorating done. So I thought it would be good if we did this together. Um, and I have done a tutorial on this before with all of the details, but I think you will get them all here. Why did I cut that like that? I don't know. All right, so we're done with the fabric. Ow, that was hot. There we go, it's all laid out. Now we can just... Zippity doo dah. I had a guy that I worked with, no joke, artichoke, whose name was Zip Duda. Now, was his name really that? No, I don't think so. I think his last name was Duda, and they just called him Zip. I don't, I don't know what his real name was. I don't know. But you know, who wouldn't want to sing that song every single time that you saw him? I did. All right, now, one thing I need to remember is how did I attach how did I attach the felt? I'm assuming I just glued it on there. I know I didn't sew it. Okay, sometimes <laughs> hot glue gun for the wind. 
I really should probably use this more often, and you can buy the, you know, I always say acid-free, but you know what I mean. It doesn't ruin your pictures and all of that good stuff. We probably might, we might want to cut that off, but we're not going to now. I think my hot glue is just normal. But hey, I've had, had things that I've had for 20 years that I, or more probably, that I've used a hot glue gun on and they're still going strong. Little home decor projects. I got a little, ah. Oh, I want to show you something because I was telling my friend Kathleen. She said she hates hot glue guns. And I'm like, girl, run on down to your local of course, I don't wear these, but I should run on down to your local Dollar Tree, Dollar General, whatever you got. And I bet they have these. And they just keep your little flanges, your little flanges from getting all. And see, then you can just go. And it's done. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That does help. <laughs> All right, now we need 12. Okay, take these off. Now we need 12 words on the top. But, yeah, we should probably put the words on first because that will then tell us if we need to cut down them. All right, I think the easiest plan of attack is just to... I gotta tell you what I did today. What? You're not going to be impressed, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, because it has to do with organizing. And anytime I, I do something that has to do with organizing, I just, it lights my fire. Blows my hair back. Uh, so we're just going to cut these and we're just mm, not going to poke myself with my scissors. And we're just going to pick 12. I know Tiffany and company are... Um, Probably not very, well, it's an accessory. They have accessories. Um, those are from Lorna Taylor, too, who now is designing for, I believe, Elizabeth Craft Designs. And that, is that right? Ooh, I might have it wrong. But she does some beautiful work. Okay, let's pop... That one Tiffany one's not going to make the cut because it's, I didn't have enough ink on it. And I think these are going to be too big. Don't you? Oh, gosh. Well, either I got real. Oh, that's not going to work. Nope. All right, we're just going to cut these this way. I can frame a little bit. And I don't want them straight. This one for sure. Goodness gracious. Don't, don't, don't look at my cutting skills. Because I don't really want them to be straight. All right, we got two. That one's going in the garbage because it's just not. I just think these are going to be too big. Yep. No sense in cutting those. And this. These look real old. See, I want them to look as grungy as like they've been around for a while. I'll have to just do it that way. Three. All right, so what did I do today? Well, for those of you who have a channel or you upload videos to Instagram or we're at TikTok, whatever, what do you do while you're waiting for all of your things to upload? Because I like to organize because I'm usually in my craft room loading up. I have my schedule that sits right in front of me so I know what I was supposed to 
or what I am planning to record and when it will go up and then I can kind of pick and choose so that I don't feel like I'm married to a schedule. And so, you know, a lot of times I'll plan, plan while I'm waiting for things to upload. Well, today I needed to get out stamps. So I had my, most of my stamps are right underneath me and I'm, why am I doing that? It doesn't work. Um, they're like those, there's six little cubby cubes, cubbies, cubes, and each one of them has something different in it. And two of them have stamps. One has rubber stamps, one has uh, acrylic stamps. Clear stamps versus rubber stamps with the blocks, you know? Well, just in case you didn't. <laughs> and so I was getting underneath there, and I was pulling out all of these fashion things. And I'm like, you know, I just need to keep all this stuff in, in together. Well, you know, I've got this obsession. How many is that? Well, let's just, we can always do more. We'll do a couple of these. Um, I've got this obsession of those oversized bags that I got from Timu with the zippers. They're great. I accidentally ordered a bunch. I ordered two different kinds when I originally ordered them. And then um, I liked the ones with the double zippers. They just seemed a little more quality. So I thought I ordered more of those. Well, I didn't. I ordered the other ones, but oh well. Uh, so while I was down there digging through the stamps, I thought, you know, I'm going to, I'm just going to organize all this stuff and change them into those bags, which I think I shared on yesterday's video. So just ignore me if that was the case. Um, but then I was like, you know, I've got all of these things that say, that are like the butter, I like the, um, butterflies and dragonflies and things like that. And then I've got all these mushy stamps and all of these, you know, papers and things like that. And I'm like, why am I not just putting everything, whether it's a die cut, if it has to do with mushies, put all the mushies together. So I did all of that. And now I have all of my stamps in, added into those themes. And I think that I'm going to do another one because I have so many stamps and die cuts for sewing that I thought I'm going to do the same thing. So that's what I'm going to do when I'm done here is finish that up. Because I have a feeling it's going to take two of those bags. And I could use the huge, huge bags, but underneath here I used the smaller bags because of the depth of the um, the depth of the shelf. But I think the sewing one's going to need to be much bigger. This one. I don't think we're going to do, we'll do... We're going to do something different with that one. I don't think that... That's kind of adding a little... Do you want that one or this one? No. Oh, or this one. No. I want that one. Okay, let's glue these down. And I'm not putting these, like, should we just do this so that I don't complain and you get sick of me? Might as well. I want them to be a little loose, like. Now, the problem with this is some of them on the last, the last go-round, some of these I did, I, um, I sewed. So... If I'm going to be gluing things on here, like I can't sew up there with all that hot glue. Well, I guess I could, but I'm not sure that it would end that well. No, oh, I got a stringer. I don't like it because I can't feel anything. <laughs> all right, those are done. So there's a lot to be said about preparing in advance. If you... Remember, as I said, was that 
Mm, I don't know, the other day, maybe on Thanksgiving, I was telling you, I, I'm, I don't have a lot of tags. And so I needed some, and I specifically needed some for uh, the fashion journals and the sewing journals. And this is one of my favorite projects. So, and you know, when you get all jazzed up about doing a project, you just gotta, you know, roll with it. So, um, planning it in advance is very helpful. And, you know, like cutting all your fabric. And I, I think it, for me, it, I'm, you know, I'm not saying do it this way. I'm just saying for me, this is what works is I feel so much more productive and like, okay, now I got all of these done and I have a good stash because a lot of times, you know, when I'm doing things, uh, when I'm not on camera, I will do it that way and I feel like it's great. But a lot other times when I am on camera, I'm trying to be mindful of time and so I don't, I don't feel like I get as much done, but I want to be genuine with what I'm showing you and, you know, as much real time as possible, like thinking through a process or what we want to do. And, um, I'm going to put this one like there and this one too, just to be different. Maybe I'll put this one over here. So you can kind of see my thought process on things. But for something like this, there's, I mean, I'm doing them all kind of the same. So I think we're safe. And if you're working on a journal and you need ephemera, you know, this is a great way to do it so that you feel like, oh, now I have plenty of it. It's, I don't know, I play mind games with myself to make me feel like I'm more productive. <laughs> hey, whatever works, right? All right, now we're just going to bring these back. Okay, I don't need these for a minute. I really don't like wearing those. But they do work. And remember, all of the tops will be changed out. Like I said, it's the one thing I didn't plan. I kind of forgot. All right, so let's do some colors here. Well, not red. I'm thinking this needs to go there. One of these here. Ooh, yellow for sure here. Do we have a light pink? Or powder blue? This is all I had, so oh, I kind of like that. That's crooked, but I, do I care? No. I think we're going to use, should we use gray? Ooh, that's a big chunk. That'll hide all of our beauty of our... Okay. Well, let's just move these up. Next row. I did it again. I put in my timer and I didn't fix my... Ooh, I think orange would be cute on that, too. Can you guys see this? I don't know if you can see all of them, but... Okay, hang on. Ooh, I like this green sort of here. Do I? It's different, but it matches. Okay, the or this orange has to be here. I'll do it this way. And this green might work right there. Do I have purple? <laughs> the answer points to no. Are you surprised? I know you're not. I kind of want to... Mm, I feel like I want to do this one down here. I kind of want to do... Well, the yellow one's pretty big. I was just trying to get more yellow to show on there. This one is going to be a problem. I 
guess we could do green. Maybe do we have the, maybe the pink then would is this too much? That'd be okay. Okay. And then I think I think we'll do yellow on this orange one. And do we have a we can do pink on this one too. Oh, that's not a good one. We could do it neutral. Yeah, we'll do a neutral one. Okay, so we lay all those down. Now we're going to glue them all on. Now let me look at how I glued these on real quick. Okay, I just glued them to the top. Ain't never going to stop. Oh, you guys. Now that should be... Thick enough that it's not gonna. I'm gonna put this down a little bit. This looks very retro yet vintage. This fabric. Okay. Two. This is a lot of tags. <laughs> well, I don't think we'll get to um, decorate all of them, but we are going to decorate a few of them. I mean, you guys can let me know in the comments, but I I have, uh, you know, depending on what I'm doing when I'm driving in the car, which I know I can't, if I'm in the car not driving, that's great. But when I am driving in the car, I can only listen. So the longer a video is, those are the ones I search for. Or I'll listen to a podcast or something like that. Um, but then sometimes I only have time to listen to, you know, just 30 minutes or, you know, 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there. So some of my tutorials that I, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. They're going to have to be, if you want to get the whole shamol, I gotta, I gotta take longer, but I feel like if you've seen me do a few, that's pretty. I like that a lot. All right. Do we need, yeah, we do probably need this. Now let's Let's pick a couple of these to decorate. This is gonna be a hard decision, but you know I wanna start with orange and I don't even know if I have anything that's orange. Oh, wait. I do have, I've been, I wanted to use some, I don't like that though. Where was that one that didn't have any? Okay, so this is just black and white. So let's do something with this so I, I can get excited and use fabric because there's nothing better in my opinion to making ruffles with hot glue um and all you do which is this would be a good idea to put these on i don't know i'm gonna put one on and you just smush 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 Get that last one. Smush one more time. I love this. Smush. Here we go. Now I could have picked probably something else, but this was handy and it's cute. Now let's put, we aren't going to put anything at the bottom of this one. So, so we can finish some of these. Let's, we got green, we got gold. And how many did I do? Three? So then you can just poke them in there. One. Two. Mm. Three. Like, I'm not going to put all the pins in <laughs> for every single one. I'll probably just do a couple. There we go. Done. 
All right, let's do another one. Hang on, I gotta look. Let's do one more. I really want to do this one. Um, we got some pretty... Well, it's all coming off this card, so apparently this wasn't a very good idea. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I think I'm going to glue this. Man, that's a mess. I think I'm going to glue this right here. Yep. Uh, a little tip so you don't get those little spider webby things. Keep your nozzle on the paper and then at the end, lift it up with a flip, flick of the wrist. I could probably stand to be. It's fine. Cute. What about you, little one? I kind of want lace. I thought I grabbed some regular lace. I did. I have so little of this le left. I just need to use it. Oh, I forgot I had the regular yellow pins. That would have been cute. This I'm going to put, I think, right on it. Now, one thing we're going to have to be mindful of, probably, not that, let's see, let me grab out this piece of scrap, because we don't want it to stick to the back of the tag. That's the other thing, it can really jack up your nails. But I think I'm gonna do I'm going over I'm going overboard. I'm putting one up there too. See now this when we get to this part when we're decorating, it's when what I love the most and it's what I wish like I was just doing with you guys. Like let's just decorate, kind of like we did the other day with the greeting cards or the tags. All right, we gotta put our, let's put our pretties in. We might use, let's see, we got a blue. We got a pinkish purple. And we're gonna use one of these yellow ones. All right, so those other ones I didn't add, so I gotta remember that. Put the yellow in the middle. However, these pins are shorter than the, the long yellow ones or the quilter's pin. Let's just do this kind of messily. And like somebody just got done doing their darning for the day. I'll just do a little bit of everything. But you know, I have to have five in here. There we go. Not ducks in a row, just messy. I like that. I like the look of that a, a lot. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. We did pretty good. So we were able to completely finish one, two, three. You know I want to use this. I'm going to. And all we have left to do is decorate those others. Maybe what I'll do is I'll stop the camera. And I'll just keep going and we'll just, like, part two. Like you never left. We shall see. All right, so we've got three completely finished. And then we have all of these left to wrap up. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put all the pins in so that's done. And then, um, 
If time allows, I will come back and we can decorate some more. If not, you'll see me next uh, uh, Sewing Notion Sunday. Um, either way, uh, until next time, remember, please take time to just be, and we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.